All right, I'm making this video to help you out if you're getting the internal power error because you updated to Windows 10 and apparently it's the same thing for many different computers. I specifically have the Dell, the Spiraleon 15, 7000, the one with the i7 and I'll put the model number in the description, but I already fixed mine, but I'm gonna try to run you through it's based on the graphics driver, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so if you're having this error, whether you log into the computer or not, within a couple minutes, the computer's going to crash, restart, and do the same thing over again. So you have to be quick with it. I'm going to set the camera right here for a second. Just for the sake of example, I'm going to have infinite time because mine's working right now, but... Yours will be, you have to do it fast before the computer resets itself. Okay. Okay, so you install Windows 10, you're excited. It's not as fast as Windows 8 booting up, obviously, which is cheesy, but. Get to the login screen. All right, and as soon as you get on there, you want to slide this up. Wait for this to highlight. Wait for the menu to pop up and click restart, but hold shift when you click restart. Okay, so hold shift and click restart before you get the error. You have to do it before you get the error. All right. It goes to this. Go to troubleshoot. Click troubleshoot. Advanced options. Startup settings. And click restart. It's going to put you into a special boot where you choose different safe modes basically. Wish I had a camera stand right now for my phone. Alright, once you get to this screen, you're going to click number four. And like I said, based on what I read, this might help with HP laptops or any type of, if you're having this, it seems like it's all based on the graphics driver. So you could try the same, do the same thing with your, with a different computer, but I can only guarantee that it's going to work. I can't even guarantee it really. I can only say that it worked on my Dell Inspire on 15. Okay. So we're in safe mode. Now you're not going to have to worry about that error. So if there's something you absolutely had to do on your computer, you can do it now probably, but there's safe mode. I wasn't satisfied. I wanted to get the full computer to work again. So log in to your computer and keep in mind, mine has already been repaired. So there's going to be a couple subtle differences, but it's the same steps. And like I said, Windows, this computer comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM, but I upgraded it to 16. But so far, uh, Windows 10 is not that snappy. Uh, it is in safe mode right now, I guess. I forgot about that. But Okay, so we're in safe mode. And it's going to look kind of funny. The menus are going to be a little choppy, but whatever, whatever. Okay, once you wait for it to load, be patient. Sorry, it's blurry. I have to hold the camera. Slide down to the... Oh, oh. by the way, the mouse on safe mode is not going to... Your touchpad's not going to be working. So, you're going to either have to plug in a USB mouse or use the touchscreen. So, go over here. Hold it. 
let go. So it's basically like right clicking. Go to device manager. All right. Once device manager is up, go to display adapters. Drop. Okay. This is where it's going to be a little different. Yours is going to say AMD Radeon. I think it's still R7, but it's going to say 265. That's the problem. It's giving you the driver for an older model. And even if you go to AMD's website and download the recommended driver, it's still going to say 265 because I tried to do it that way first. Was Basically what we're going to do, excuse me, ignore the HD graphics. You don't need to do anything with that. The one that yours says 265. Bring double click that. Go to driver. I'm not gonna do it. Go to driver. Uninstall. Click uninstall. And then it's gonna say it's gonna bring up a menu like this. And click check that box. Because that's that's what I did and it worked. I can't guarantee I know whether it'll work if you do it or not, but I did. So check the box, click OK. It's gonna do it it's going to remove it and then you're going to go down here and you're going to shut down or restart whichever you prefer and it's not even going to so you uninstalled the graphics driver that was hanging you up in the first place all right so now you're you're uh your computer is going to be running purely on the onboard processor uh, graphics, which I don't really know that much about, but I, so, okay, so this, basically a run through what we've done. You booted up your computer. For some reason, there was some confusion between Windows and the computer. It was giving you the wrong driver, and that was causing the whole thing to crash. You won't, it's going to be the internal power error and uh, now you uninstalled it so it's not going to hang you up you're you're not using the AMD card anymore you're just using the graphics on the processor which like I said I don't really know much about the specifications of the onboard graphics but anyways so now you should be able to get into Windows but you're still only on the onboard graphics you're not using your computer to its full potential keep in mind right this second mine is because i already fixed it but where you're going to be right now if you're following the steps you're not it's going to be just it might be like i don't know you might have a lower resolution or other things might just so anyways get log in and you got to use you got to be connected to the internet for this to, to repair it and this is where I learned so right now you have no driver for your AMD graphics card and I thought well I'll just go to AMD and get the latest driver that they offer for when it even says Windows 10 so I did that and it did the exact same thing it I got it for the two the R7 270 the one that we have in this computer if you have the same one and as soon as, before the computer had even restarted it it brought the same error and when I went to the drivers it said 265 or what it, the, something 65 like the like you had just seen on yours so anyways what you're gonna do is once your computer is fully loaded and make sure you're connected to the internet if you really wanted to understand a little deeper you would go here and go to device manager again keep in mind your every, your mouse pad is working again it's running normal windows like i said windows 10 isn't that impressive so far in terms of speed and that, this thing has been upgraded too just to ram i don't know what the deal is hopefully All right, so assuming you were successful, when you go here, 
I'm gonna go to display adapters. And now, oops. Where this, where mine says R7 M270, it's gonna say something gen generic dri or graphics card with an exclamation point because it has no driver. So that's what yours should say right now. It should be like something something graphics card with an exclamation part. It shouldn't say that. Or it shouldn't say that 265 thing either. Or you're gonna, but anyways. So what you do now, when you since you have no driver, you go over here, they kind of hid Windows Update compared to what it used to be. You slide out that right taskbar. You go to all settings. And this thing will pop up. And down in the bottom left corner is update and security. Go here. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird, but basically, when I was down on the internet downstairs, I don't get internet up here. It's offering, it, it's going to give you a couple updates. And one of them is the correct video driver. I didn't choose to download this one, but it automatically got an error for the 265 one, which is the one you don't want, so that's fine. It, I just said, I just, it didn't, I couldn't figure out the new update menu is kind of weird. It's like, it, but if you have the choice, don't download that one because I didn't, and I'm pretty sure that's the old bad one that was giving you problems. But anyways, one of the new updates is the 270 driver. So get those updates. If you have a choice, don't download that one. Maybe it'll tell you an error. If it tells you an error for that one, don't worry because that's exactly what it did for me and it, it worked out fine. So you download, you install the updates. You After you install the update, your computer has video drivers again. You're gonna restart, shut down, restart, let it chill for a second. You're gonna get onto Windows 10 successfully, hopefully. You're gonna go to the device manager. You're gonna go to the display adapters, which we're all becoming familiar with now. And it should say this, and then you're working. I haven't had any issues yet. I haven't done that much. I haven't, but the point is, it's not crashing immediately like it was. So hopefully, you didn't lose all faith in Windows 10 because it's pretty simple. It just takes a couple, a little patience. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. I appreciate subscriptions or anything like likes or any of that. I have a Facebook page too that I'll put a link to. But you know, God bless. I hope this fixes it for you.